Okay, how many do we have now? That was... That was just three. <laughs> 37 left. Down with the Mafia. Okay, this is the first actual boss fight. And supposedly this could be the end of Chapter 1. You can just go straight to Chapter 2 or Level 2 if you want to call it that. But I'm gonna stick around and see if I can collect more hourglasses in this level. Before I have to leave and then eventually come back. We shoot up here now. To the headquarters. You took your time! Help me out here! Oh. They were throwing a can at her head, and it's just stuck in the air during the cutscene. Whoops. Get these brutes off my case and we can go inside! Brutes? I can't do accents. Or voices. I wish I could. I love using that little dive move. Good job, kid! Okay, let's go. Hat kid's just gonna sit there while the cutscene's going. Ooh, I have enough to sit your hat. Um, second one. Bam, bam. Cha -cha. I am not used to hearing her voice. She does sound adorable, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is kind of a little puzzle we gotta do. This is the speed hat. Nice. Later on, we can upgrade it to where she's using a moped. Oh, you could crouch during these. Didn't even know that. Need this bucket. Just take it over here. Put it on the button. There we go. I got a keyblade. Oh wait, there's something right here I can find. It's a chest! Gave me a coin, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I afford one of your shit? Oh. I could afford to wear another badge, so... I would recommend buying the little badge pins first because they disappear after a while. I learned that the hard way during one of my playthroughs. Yeah, I'll get the little magnet badge. I like this one. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so we go through here. And there's the door. Go ahead, kid. Open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Okay. You're not gonna help me at all. Oh, this little ice area looks really nice. A lot of the locations and designs in this game are really pretty. Dive through here. I like the little magnet badge because it makes it to where you don't have to directly go on the items. You can collect them while you're just right next to them. It's a really fun and useful thing to have in a collect-a-thon game like this. <sighs> Adorable. She was mocking that guy even though she couldn't see him. A lot of people complained about how my Unleashed playthrough was really repetitive because it was just me saying over and over again how much I love the game. Well, I think for Hadden Time, I'm just going to keep saying it's really cute. Because it is a cute game. Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with time pieces. Time pieces, that's what they're called. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. I haven't seen time pieces for over a hundred years. In any case, this piece belongs to the Mafia. Excuse me? Let's fight for it. Oh, there we go. And this boss is pretty easy. There's a trophy you could get where you have to use a specific badge that's basically the Daredevil badge, like the one in Galaxy, where you basically just have to beat the boss without getting hit once with that badge equipped. I use this boss fight to get that trophy, because it's the first one. Interestingly enough, this is a 2.5D boss. It's like a nice little callbacks to 2D platformers right here. Oh. Aw, oh, damn. Got hit. It dropped the heart, so it didn't matter. Bam. Me, you psycho! Okay, so you can hear her talk during the boss fight. I always wondered that when I shut the voice acting off at first. Bam. Oh shit! Oh man. That wasn't very difficult. You're no match for me! You sure about that? Oh no. This is a really fun idea for a boss fight. Just all the mafia people building up as a little ball, and there's like a little opening for you to use as a thing to platform up there and then hit them. Fuck you. Dead. Haha. <laughs> Time piece for me. Four out of forty. We're making good progress. 
What I like about this game is that all the cutscenes are done, like, in-game. They're not pre-rendered. Take note, Sega. Are there some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? What a bitch. Oh. Are there some sort of rare Wait. Huh? Wow. Not so dorky anymore, is it? Hmm. Mine. Shivik has no dialogue, I really like that. Do you even realize what could be done with these? We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the Mafia that one time! We could- Oh my god. Yeah, travel back in time and then beat him up again! No, wait. Uh, we can make it so the Mafia never arrived on the island! Wait, wait, wait! Even better! We could be crime-fighting time travelers! Hmm, sounds like a good name for a band. Oh, thank you. Your character animations are the sweetest thing. If you're not gonna use them to fight evil, then I will. Hmm. I'm not gonna let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it. Sure. I'm gonna be the one doing all the work, though. Lazy jerk. Guess we're not friends anymore. What the? What? That. Mustache bitch. Oh, second level's open! But I'm not going to it yet. What other levels can we head to? Ooh, time rift detected. These are really interesting. Like, they're hidden in a certain area in the level, and they take you to a bonus level. Yeah, there are some time pieces that you could still unlock, but some of them later on, you need, like, a specific hat upgrade that you don't have just yet. And I can't unlock this because freaking Mustache Girl took all my freaking diamonds or pawns. I think they're called pawns. That's what they call like the currency in this game. Green pawns. A lot of like Sonic fans I see playing this game call them the Chaos Emeralds. In this mission we explore Mafia Town again. And we gotta find four pieces of this vault. And if you want to you can touch the vault at the beginning and it'll give you a little gold trail to show like what spot of the levels the pieces are at and here's the first one. Oh yeah there's another trophy you could get you gotta knock down like all the mafia members off like a cliff or something let's see where he goes oh he just explodes right there never mind would have thought they just de-rendered him or something but nope they paid attention to that detail i am kind of upset that the ps4 version doesn't run at 60 but I could also understand why it couldn't. A part of me is kind of hoping that the Switch version does make it to 60 frames a second, but I fucking doubt it. I think the Xbox One version is also capped at 30. I could be wrong though. And that was a little puzzle I did, and I got another yarn ball, and I have enough to stitch another hat for. Yeah, the witch hat. I love this one. This one like gives you a little explosive thing. Yay. More collectibles. I love collectathons and Had in Time did this genre justice, I think. Even though I do love Had in Time, I I do think that Mario Odyssey perfected the gameplay, like beautifully. Like no contest, obviously. Like there's clearly no contest between Had in Time and Odyssey, obviously. But I still say like if you played Odyssey and you had a good time, I recommend Had in Time. Because it's a really fun platforming collectathon. Well, I have a hundred, so I have enough to get, like, that one level I couldn't get initially. Actually, I think I might go back to the beginning and try to find... No, wait, I think it was right here. Um, no, it wasn't. Actually, if you look at the pause menu, it gives us the little photograph to show where that time rift is. Well, you can unlock, like, numerous time rifts at a time, and it usually just focuses on one. But if you do have just one that you're looking for, just check the pause menu. And try to find a location that vaguely looks like that. Well, I've 100 percent at this game like four times, so I know exactly where the time rift is. I just gotta collect myself for a bit and try to find the beginning. Actually, I think we're about to come up to it. It's right off this bridge. Yep, there it is. And we use this balloon to get across. Oh, fuck. Okay, it respawns. Always wondered that, because I never missed that jump ever. And here we go to one of the time rift levels. These definitely remind me of those like floodless levels from Sunshine. Like whenever you're just Mario alone using his abilities and stuff. Like this was definitely inspired by them. There are even like some level structures later on that are clearly intentionally like shaped to look like the platforms from Sunshine. Sunshine was a fun game, but I don't know. There was a lot in it that I just wasn't 
that much into. I don't think it's a terrible game, though. I'd probably play Sunshine on the channel if I had interest in it, to be honest. Sunshine was enjoyable, but I don't think it was exactly what we needed after 64. And Odyssey is definitely like an example of where I want 3D Mario to go. But I will say I would play Sunshine over 64 and both galaxies any day. Yep, I'm dead serious about that. Someone left like a comment that made me a bit paranoid saying, Oh, is Wet just gonna be a Sonic exclusive thing? And I was just like, uh, no. There are other games I want to play on the show. Please don't think it's just for Sonic. Like a part of me is a little paranoid that this Had in Time and Jedi Academy playthroughs aren't gonna get that much views because they're not Sonic. Oh well, we'll have to see what happens. Oh, the little slot machine! You can use this to unlock like different like designs for hats that you have or colors and stuff. But that's not the color I want. Um, not the hat flare I want. Okay, one last chance. Yeah, I'll get that color. It automatically applies the color that you just recently unlocked to Hat Kid, so hopefully it's a good color I got. Yeah, it's the blue hair Hat Kid. Love this one. Uh, it's this one in the blonde hair design for Hat Kid that I really like.